As you recall in your PowerPoint Level 1 training video on speaker notes and handouts, is your handouts are nothing more than a printout of all your slides here, where you can hand out to your audience and they can follow along as you're giving your presentation. Well, what I'd like to do is I'd like to edit or customize your handout by going to the Handout Master. To do that, come up here, click on the View tab, go to the Presentation Views group and click on Handout Master. Up at the top for your handouts, you can add headers and footers, or another way of doing it is coming up here, clicking on the Insert tab to the Text group and clicking on Header and Footer. There's the header and footer. Of course, it's on the notes and handouts, not the slides. Down below, I'll check the box to add a header. Once I type it in and click Apply to All, you'll see it added up here in the header section. Of course, my footer. And click Apply to All, you can see it's been added now. Next, the default is six slides per page. Well, you can't see much when the slides are this small for my handouts, so what I'd like to do is go to my Handout Master tab, because I'm still in the Handout Master view. Go to the Page Setup group and click on the Slides per Page. You can see it's 6. I want to change that to 2. So it's larger. They can see what's on the slide and make their notes to the sides here or underneath it. They have enough room. Also, I can apply some formatting. For example, Ghost Hunting. You can select the text box. Click inside it. Click and drag to select Ghost Hunting. Come up here on the Format tab and maybe change it to a Word Art. Let's do Red. Click on that. It's not too bad. I can even increase the size with it still selected. I can right click on it and up in the mini toolbar change it from 12 to 16 and hit enter. It's a little bit bigger, isn't it? I come over here and click on the text box for the date and delete it. And then I want to be able to center this text box or move it over a couple inches. I can either click and drag it or when I select the text box come up here on the format tab to its size group and click its expandable dialog box button. Go to the position tab here and let's type in two inches from the top left corner. Hit the tab key, close out, it bumps it over two inches from the top left. Of course it's not centered now within the text box so to do that I can just right click on it, go to my mini toolbar and click on center and click off. Looks much better. Well let's do a print preview to see what it looks like before I print it off. Click on the office logo button, come down to print, go to print preview, now, even though I have the master set up at two slides, if my default at the last time I was doing a print preview was three, I can still click on the drop down arrow and go to two slides. Or if you're in the notes page, obviously that's not your handout, so you want to change that and go to two slides. Got ghost hunting up at the top, click on it to zoom in, annual 2009 meeting, go to the next page, it's on every handout. And when I'm finished, just go ahead and click print. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.